Whoa. There we go. I found someone. Whoa. Oh, hey. Settle down, Beavis. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's cool. Pick that up. That's not. Oh. Four eliminated all friendlies. Okay. Oh, are they shooting through the door? They sure are. Wow. Has been eliminated. Suicide bomber. Okay. Well, that was, four eliminated all friendlies. that was intelligent. You have to wait 10 seconds for this. I already hate that. It takes forever. It's like, come on, let's go. Times are wasting. Let's go, let's go with this one. I guess that's it. Oh, limited time on You're choosing a weapon. And a bomb. I don't even see him. I got one. Got two. I didn't even see him. Run! Run! Woohoo! He's on my butt. Holy cow, that was cool. Oh man. We have been eliminated. That dang, this is difficult. Shot that one down. Here he comes, you hear him. That was awesome. Oh man. <laughs> she killed the whole building. Wow. I wrote this game looked awesome and so far first impressions it's, it's really buggy. Tutorials. Bomb located by Op 4. Wow, that was crazy. Wow. This guy's been playing a while. Look at how, how like, when he moves. What is this? And joining the game is already in progress. That sucks. It forced me to play tutorial. Many floors can be partially broken and shot through. How do you 
even see that? How do you even see that? For instance, wooden and vinyl floors can be partially destroyed, while concrete and marble floors cannot. Floors are only breachable through the trap doors. By detonating a breach charge on the trap door, you can create a passageway to the floor below. All right, thank you. Defenders can deploy reinforcements on the trap doors to prevent breaching from the floor above you. Damn, this game looks so cool. This is interesting. properties depend on their material. For instance, drywall or wood walls are destructible. But concrete and metallic walls are not. Breach charges show their full power when deployed on their primary target, walls. Many walls can be breached. Some of the destructible walls can't be entirely demolished, as they are built on metallic frames. Breaking them creates new lines of sight, but they can't be breached. Defenders can protect some of their walls with reinforcements. Attackers can recognize reinforced walls by the anchors used to hold the reinforcement in place. Choose wisely. Unlike barricades, reinforcements are limited to two per defender. <laughs> Quite a game. When defending, you can barricade door and window frames to slow down attackers and cut off the line of sight. You have an unlimited number of barricades and can barricade as much as you want to secure your position. Barricades have limited durability. A single melee hit from an attacker is enough to break through. Oh. Cool. Three melee hits and they'll collapse completely. Barricades can also be destroyed by gunfire. Some firearms are more effective than others. For instance, a shotgun is likely to be more efficient than a pistol. Breach charges can easily break through a barricade. Deploy the breach charge, step aside, and trigger it remotely to take out the barricade. Wow. Residual smoke and debris will provide some cover as you utilize the new line of sight. Distance. Oh, yeah. Push again, push again. Shotgun's ridiculous. Holy cow. Alright. 
I can hear him coming. Roger that. I didn't know what that would do. <laughs> Damn. Doing so well. So That's good as intense, it's hard to talk. Come on life. Plant, plant, come on. Diffuser planted, protected from enemy action. One, two, three, four of them coming down the stairs, huh? Damn. That was the best, best I've done yet. That shotgun is pretty powerful. But this one was a little more different. Uh, 13 kills. Wow. That's pretty good.